Welcome to Stable Talk Online. Today we got two guys from Stevenson University men's lacrosse team. We got Justin Pettinelli and Matt Wilson. If you guys just want to give a quick, short bio about yourself, majors, uh, when you started playing lacrosse, hometowns, things like that. Well, you want to go first? All right. So uh, I'm Matt Wilson. I'm uh, number 29 defenseman i'm a junior and uh environmental science major i actually started playing lacrosse my uh freshman year of high school but then i got hurt so technically my sophomore year of high school um i'm from uh south jersey like 15 minutes from philly and uh yeah what did you uh what did you play before high school anything yeah i played uh baseball basketball and soccer like my whole life and then Switch from baseball uh, to lacrosse. Yeah, switch from baseball to lacrosse freshman year. Nice. Uh, my name is Justin Patinelli. Um, I guess my nickname on the team is Pats. So re Matt might call me Pats, and I might call him Wheels here. Sometimes. <laughs> yeah. um, we're also roommates, uh, people that I know. Um, I'm from St. Louis, Missouri. I'm a senior. I'm a nursing major. Um, I didn't know you are from St. Louis. Yeah, far away. But my dad, my parents are both from upstate New York, so I kind of grew up playing lacrosse because yeah. he's a uh, high school coach back home. He actually coached my brother. Um, so as far as long as I can remember, I always, you know, had a lacrosse stick in my hand. I was also playing every other sport I could try. Um, so it wasn't until, like, eighth grade or freshman year of high school is when I really got serious about it. And – kind of knew this is what I was going to pursue going into college. Um, it was between that and, like, basketball. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't as good at basketball um, playing in the St. Louis area. There's a, it's a big – it's a big game out there, but um, it's one of my favorite sports. And so – and then in high school, it was between lacrosse and basketball. And I just saw a lot more opportunity with lacrosse. Cool. Here. Um, what's your guys is what you have you guys been doing during quarantine so far? What's your guys' favorite activities? Um, I've been just diving deep in Netflix. Yeah, and, what's um, your Netflix show right now? Oh, Outer Outer Banks. Either. Oh yeah, Outer Banks is an amazing show. I love I'm on episode, about that show. I think I'm on episode five or six right now of that. It sucked because like halfway. It just through the got show, good though. Only, it took me a few yeah. episodes to like not like sit there on my phone while it's playing yeah i mean there's only 10 episodes but like on episode like four or five like i figured it all out like yeah i mean pretty predictable but it's nice it's a good show but other than netflix it's just like school and like working out and stuff like nothing crazy playing basketball a lot <laughs> um i'm still here with our other roommate jake doster um he's from upstate new york also actually um so he hasn't gone home yet, and when we're not doing schoolwork and stuff, uh, and when I'm not at work, um, I think we – You work at one of the hospitals? Yeah. Yeah, I still work as a student nurse technician. Um, but I've kind of transferred to a safety officer position where I um, kind of observe doctors and nurses putting on safety equipment and making sure, you know, they're taking it off – properly and washing it properly um just kind of having a helping hand um when it's needed so i do that about once or twice a week around school like classes still um and then i guess in our free time dose and i love playing uh modern warfare Warzone. yeah a lot of video games a lot of video games yeah we still play fortnite because i mean that's just like that's a constant now and watching a lot of yeah. Uh, Netflix also. I think we've watched Glorious Bastards three times now. And uh, <laughs> we're really into the Last Kingdom. Was, uh, just oh, yeah. New, new season. season just came new out. New season yeah. just came out. So it's something we're definitely checking up on. What do you guys uh, – first thing when lockdown's over, state border's gone, everything's open, first thing you're doing? Beach. Going yeah. right to the beach. That's <laughs> everyone's <laughs> answer. Yeah, I have a yeah, right I've to the beach. city that we go to quite a bit. So 
I know yeah. Dustin asks me every week when I think we can go, but I don't have the heart to tell him that it's not going to be for a while. But, <laughs> yeah. yeah, definitely. That, or we'll probably go home uh, back to St. Louis for a week or so because I know my parents are calling me every day. But... <laughs> going right to the beach. Yeah. yeah. Enjoy. <laughs> beach is my place too. All right, let's jump into some Q&A question and answers. All right. Um, yeah. Um, what are your thoughts on the UFOs? You have any conspiracies <laughs> about those UFOs that everyone's talking about? I think it's just crazy how like they like people are confirming them and like it's not even like a headline. Like it's, it's just <laughs> a Corona thing. Like it's that's just crazy. true. That's but, what we were saying last night. Oh, the whole thing's yeah. fish. Is those video the one video is from two thousand four? Yeah, I mean. I I honestly have like no idea about it. I don't really believe in all that stuff, but oh, man. if people are people are really good with Photoshop, that's all I know. <laughs> Come on now. Well, <laughs> you believe in it? Yeah, of course. You believe in yeah, I believe in it. In that stuff? I, I, I like know. I like half believe in it. Granted, in being called UFOs, you can't really say they're aliens, but I just think Shout out, little Dicky. It's just so hard to, yeah, <laughs> true. you know, we're the only ones here in the universe. So, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah I, the video. I didn't even see any of the videos. I've only seen like the tweets about it all. Yeah. yeah. All right. If you guys could play any other sport, what would it be and why? Think yeah. that you're like a beast at it. Like you're a pro. Yeah. Like, professionally. Uh, first, first sport that comes to mind is definitely basketball. I feel like NBA money is like crazy these days, so that'd be sick to go pro in the NBA. But I, I would either pick uh, the basketball or golf. 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 Yeah, be a pro golfer. That'd be sick. I feel like that'd be so easy and just like chill to be a golfer and yeah. make tons of money. Mm-hmm. Get, get like a Nike sponsorship and then just coast off that. <laughs> Uh, I would definitely go with basketball. I just feel like it's such a creative game like lacrosse. Um, and I just – I just feel like they are some of the greatest athletes in the world, and there's, like, so much creativity that goes into the game. And it's just – I don't know. I think it's – and the team setting, since it's a smaller team, it's just a lot more um, close-knit. And I think that was, like, the biggest thing I took away from high school basketball and why I enjoyed it so much was, like, the close relationships I made. Uh, growing up from it. Mm-hmm. Favorite uh, WWE wrestler, current or former? Ooh. <laughs> I just think back to like fourth grade. Yeah, I want to pass uh, on this because I was never really a WWE fan. And, like, I'm not no, either. I, I was, back in the day, I was a huge WWE guy, but I mean, the obvious ones are John Cena. Um, That's who I said. Big, big, ever, big show. Did you ever play him on like the PlayStation? Yeah, I used yeah. to. Yeah, I, I liked I like using Big Show, um, Hornswoggle, the little guy. I remember. Uh, I hated I hated Edge. That's the one thing yeah. I can remember from that. I hated Edge. I remember playing a video game. I think it was like Eddie Guerrero. I think yeah, he Eddie Guerrero. Away, but I know he was one of the guys like my and friends. There was one. Liked. Oh, what was his name? It was like Kingsley or something. Like some like Jamaican guy. Yeah. Yeah, I know you're talking yeah. about. I just remember, uh, yeah. uh, who's the little guy, Mysterio? Or is that someone else? Ray Mysterio, Ray Mysterio. yeah. Hornswoggle is a really small guy, too. Hornswoggle is the little, the little guy, yeah. All <laughs> right, we'll move into uh, some this or that. This real or that. All right, uh, just first off, something easy. Mac or PC? Uh, Mac. PC. Ooh. Interesting. Computer-wise, but phone-wise, I'll go with Apple. Yeah, yeah. All right, Netflix or Hulu? Oh, I like that. Um, I, I think I would go to Netflix for for Hulu. I mean, we have both at the house, so yeah, it is <laughs> I feel I feel like I use Netflix more than Hulu. Yeah, yeah, I use Netflix more, but Hulu's good for like shows that are like currently on TV, I guess. Yeah, like yeah, Dave, Dave, good show. Dave, yeah, Dave's yes. a good show. <laughs> Dave's a good show. All right, Twitter or Instagram. Oh, Twitter, easily. Twitter, <laughs> yeah. Twitter really? I said, oh, yeah, yeah, Pets I said each other tweets like 24-7. I deleted my Twitter like five years ago. 
Really? Oh, but then that's really that's how the algorithm long. goes. No, that's how the algorithm goes. You <laughs> delete it, then you're gonna you're gonna re-download it and realize it's the best thing ever. Yeah, Jay's telling me I should re-get. I should re-download my Twitter. You should. Twitter is yeah. Twitter's very, <laughs> very uh, good Twitter thing. humor is different though. Like you're you, you're gonna log on. You're like, what is going? I on? I miss. Like I wish I didn't delete my Twitter because I had like so many good tweets. That, like, I remember when I was in college, like, I would go back and, like, scroll through all my old tweets and just, like, laugh so hard. And now I'm mad that I can't ever find this ever again. Like, I wish I would have yeah. just, like, deleted the app or something. It was down in the DMs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Last uh, last one for this or that. Uh, Spotify or Apple Music? Oh, I, I, know, I know his answer. I'm Spotify and he's Apple Music. I'm Apple. I'm not. I like Shuffle Spotify. on Apple is garbage. It is. I, I agree with that because I'm like, I'll you listen to a song and like two more J Cole song comes on in a row, which isn't awful, but I just I don't know. Wheels and I listen to anything from like country to rap from like the eighties like, yeah. and like yeah, this pretty, is pretty part. diverse. Like, he throws in like EDM and um, like big booty mixes and stuff like that. So yeah. it's a little bit of everything. Yeah, I'm just <laughs> All right, let's do superlatives for Steven. We can do Stevenson lacrosse players or coaches or trainers, whatever, anyone. Uh, All right, first uh, one, who has the best bromance? Uh, <laughs> uh, probably. I think you might be either. Nelly and Harry. Yeah, Nelly Harrington. Uh, yeah, Connie Hudson, Jake Harrington. Yeah. Jake Carrington or um Oh Kearney House with Paul Flurry. <laughs> yeah, I mean pretty much if you just put Paul the Flurry's name in anything, people will freak out. <laughs> I would I would say either Connor Nelson Harrington or question mark and Paul DeFleury. Yeah, Paul DeFleury with everybody. Yeah. Okay. Or or, or uh, I really like uh Justin Tucker and Screes. Justin Screes. They're they little they're little buddies. Okay. Um, most likely to invent something for Shark Tank, like the show. You guys ever seen that? We got oh uh, definitely it's between I think three seniors here that are very yeah. invested in entrepreneurship, <laughs> I guess. It's probably like Scott Mitchell. <laughs> Yeah, or Al Falco. What would they make? Well, you you just want to, yeah, I don't think most just talk yeah. about it. <laughs> they, they have an idea that they like think is legit and could be. I mean, you never know. I mean, the the show is still there that they could go on it. You never know, yeah. but we're not we're not going to disclose the idea for because it's still patent. All right, I respect that. All right, um, biggest prankster, <laughs> maybe like when. Everyone's sleeping on the bus or something. Oh, Mark Taus. Yeah. <laughs> Mark Taus loves, loves, like, we're on the bus and, like, we just came back or we're going to, like, like we went to Christopher Newport. It was, like, what, like a four or five hour drive, something like that. Like five, six, and he, he would he would just look over and be, like, all right. And then just, like, grab a water bottle and throw it at something. Like <laughs> just, like, stuff like that. Or, like, throwing balls at people at practice, like, just messing around. But I'd say Mark or – um. Yeah, I would, I would just say more. Mark's right, a little wild card. We got a good one for you next. Best hair on the team. Oh, me easily. No <laughs> question. No, no. no question. Yeah. You 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 see you see the roster picture. I think it speaks for itself. Yeah, I saw the roster picture earlier. <laughs> yeah, it speaks for itself. <laughs> what about uh, what about what about best hair in the athletic department? Oh, There's gonna be a lot of guys that are mad. Um, <laughs> no, like 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 staff, like best staff? best best staff best hair. Staff? Eva the trainer got some nice hair. Oh, um, she does. I, I do like, like I Eva. Like, I actually hair, like yeah. Eva. Eva. Style. She's pretty cool. Um, Eva, yeah. Will Smith's got some gnarly hair, actually. Well, Will yeah, Will Smith does have some nice hair. But I mean, Mark Pouse used to, but he just shaved his head. I think, he had hair. Oh, he had hair yeah. down to like the middle of his back. <laughs> I think, but, the, yeah, give like longer than that is feathered. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think the best like feathered hair and like well kept might be freshman. Uh, 
Oh my God, Griffin Gast, maybe. Griffin, yeah. Yeah, he's definitely going to be a prospect growing up these next four years. <laughs> How long did yours go, Matt? What? How long is yours right now? Mine? Uh, I trimmed it right when I right when the quarantine started, mm-hmm. but like during the picture, it was it was pretty long. I mean, it's still. Yeah, like, we'll show we'll show the picture. Huh? Yeah, uh, you have to. <laughs> oh, that will be the amazing headline. Picture. It's an amazing yeah, picture. Uh, the cover. Pets, pets did the pets did the lines. Like you can't really see them anymore, but like mm-hmm. he's still, he still did the lines. Four months ago. Yeah. I'm trying to My go. mom's I probably. Know. Yeah, I I was. Yeah, you're looking good. Mom, <laughs> yeah, that. you got the curls. It's all about the curls. Yeah, my hair just goes straight out. I look like coconut head if I get. <laughs> I don't yeah. do anything with it. I should probably throw this out. It's like the hockey team. They got a nice head of lettuce. Oh, um, what's his name? Colin Woods. Colin yeah, Woods Woodsy. has some good. Yeah. Yeah, Woodsy had some had some good hair. Alfie, I love Alfie too. Alfie, <laughs> uh, Bruce, Bruce has some good hair. Yeah. I'm trying to think who else has like long hair. I'm drawing a blank. Oh, um. Sam uh, Vanko on the baseball team. Oh, he yeah. Like he, has been he looks like a pirate. Yeah. Yeah. He looks like Johnny <laughs> Especially Depp. because it's like super dark. Yeah, really long. Yeah, but I give myself the award, probably best hair on the team. Either me or Will Smith. <laughs> okay. You're one, Macy. And then, um, What'd you say? I said you just wanted to do Oh, yeah. So, one. who do you think on the team or Stevenson, wherever? Um, most likely to become a, a motivational speaker. Jacob Tatum on our team. Does he do all the team cheers and pep talks and? No, he's just he's just uh, he's a man with the Lord, so he. Uh, oh, okay. He's like an FCA guy, so he's like really into like um, like he he he's like really good at talking like to like four or five people and like getting them motivated and like stuff like that. Like he would sit there like. And like my, he's in my grade, so like we would, we'd be playing like a freshman year JV game or something, and he'd just like give a little pep talk. It was nice. Uh, Louis, Louis, uh, and Ania, he gets some good pep talks. Okay. I think um, he's our GA, or I guess he's our GA or coach now, but Don DeFazio, mm-hmm. yeah, he's a senior for my first three years here. He's a yeah, I I actually don't even know. I don't want to. I don't want to. Um, I don't want to diss on him here. Unfortunately, I mean, I'm just gonna go at Dom. Yeah, six, right? But yeah, he. I mean, he could get you. Oh, he he make you put your head through a brick wall. Yeah, yeah. Dom, yeah, easily. So yeah, easily, Dom. Dom's probably the best speaker ever. 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 I don't know, Dom, Dom could get you, like, we would have, like, a fall meeting or whatever, and then he would just be, like, no one thinks we're going to be good, and then you're, like, wow, like, I'm ready to just, like. You're right, I'm ready to go. Right now. Like, I'm ready to go right now, and then, like, we don't, we don't even start playing for, like, two more months. I'm, like, I'm ready to go right now. All right, you're ready to go. Let's hit some Stevenson <laughs> across trivia. trivia. See what trivia, you got. okay. Yeah, all right. all right. Who scored the final goal for Stevenson in the 2013 National Championship? We can give you we can give you choices if you want. Yeah, can you choices? Yeah, can you <laughs> have multiple choice. All right, so yeah, last goal of the game for Stevenson. A. Glenn Topkins. B. Nick Rosie. C. Pat Candon. Or D. Michael Crow. I think it was. I'm, I'm either thinking A or Glenn. Candon. I'm thinking either Pat or Glenn. It, but since not, I'm not the awesome. smartest. It wasn't. I don't think yeah. it was Rossi. I think it was Can. I think it was Pat Candon. I think yeah. I'm gonna go with Pat Candon. It was Nick Rossi or Rossi. <laughs> no way. Oh, <laughs> Nick Rose. Okay. Dude, that team was sick. That team was sick. I right, wish it was Tyler time. Reed. I wish it was Tyler Reed. Oh, Tyler. <laughs> Coach Reed. <laughs> Coach Reed. Okay. All right. How many players does Stevenson Lacrosse have in the pros? Uh, Currently. Like, uh, as well, no, all Piken, together. We think, Piken, I, I think it's all together. I think it's current. Piken, Simon, Is it current? Cal. Cal well, Rossi. Rossi. We're playing for the Bayhawks. Um, for, um, Jimmy Daly. 
Jimmy Dale is a five. <laughs> missing someone. Uh, yeah, we are missing someone. Like Simon Callum, Hyken, Rossi, Jimmy Daly. Did Coach Reed play for? No. Did Bannock? Bannock. I don't think Bannock did. I don't think Bannock did either. Oh, oh, uh, oh, Donnie. Donnie now. Oh, yeah, Donnie did get drafted by an indoor team. Was it? Oh, no, no, no. The new, the new the Philly, Philly, Philly team. Philly team. So, so you got six right now? So six now, yeah. Six, yeah. Seven. Yeah, if, oh, our, if, if if our info is wrong, we blame Sam Murray. But yeah. we, had, <laughs> we, we had we had seven. We had seven. Dang. Which I'm pretty still? sure. I guess that means current. Yeah, seven they're current. Yeah, it must be seven current. Yeah. Seven. Um, how many straight NCAA appearances does Stevenson the cross have? Ooh. Well, I'm thinking. I'm trying to. I think when Canavan took over, it's what was that, like, 08? I think it's, like, yeah, I would say 11 or 12. I'd, I'd, I'd go general answer, 11 to 13. Well, I'm not saying right. It's 2020 right now. <laughs> so this year didn't count, so go I back know. one. I know, but 2009, I think they were a top-ranked team in the regular yeah. season, so they were definitely in it there. So 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I'm going to say since. Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to say since 2008. So I'm going to go, I guess, does that count as 12 total if you include that year and then last year? I'm going to say 12 in a row. I still like my answer, 11 to 14, something around there. 11. 11, 11 is the okay. correct answer. Okay. Close. All right. All right. I like the strategic math. All right. How many teams are in the PLL? Oh, so you have the Archers, Atlas, Redwoods, Whip Snakes, Chrome. There's six. And yeah, six. Six. All right, so we have no, seven. Water dogs. Water dogs. Water dogs. Water dogs. Water dogs. Yeah, so we had seven. Yeah, yeah. seven. Yeah. And then you could say eight with the beans. Yeah, it was, that was just April Fool's, though, right? Yeah, that's that, just an April Fool's joke. <laughs> when I saw that, I was like, is this real? <laughs> I woke up, this whole quarantine stuff was getting to me. Like, totally forgot it was April Fool's Day. And I'm like, I, yeah, I, same. I, I remember same. I texted Wheel, and I was like, I was like oh, holy cow, is Bean going to be a coach, like an owner of a pool? <laughs> like, Dude, it's. Did he make that? No, no, I don't I think, think so. It was just like a gag. I think he no. put it in, but I don't know if he came up with it. But I think in that, I feel like when they did that, they even, like, had the Instagram be verified already. So it looked even better. Yeah, yeah I remember, I remember like, looking at the Instagram when I saw it. And there was a check mark, and I was like, no way. <laughs> yeah. Can of beans. I don't know. It, it got me, I'm not going to lie. But. Got a couple of us. We actually sent her in our uh, group me with yeah. the team. And, like, one kid was like, is this actually a thing? <laughs> but, so, yeah, seven. All right, this number. Um, I'm gonna be honest. I'll I'll give you. I'll Venmo you both ten bucks if you get this answer. <laughs> oh word! I'm gonna give it now. How many all-time All-Americans has Stevenson the cross? One hundred and twenty-seven. We have A B C D E for you. Or A B C D E. Okay. Right. Now the Venmo is off the table. Um, A <laughs> A seventy-two, B ninety, C eighty-three, or D forty-five. Damn, I was way off. Um, all Americans, yeah. all Americans. We took really this straight up. Against, sorry. We took this straight definitely up. Not, yeah, definitely straight, not. We took definitely not. It's a right up the recruiting brochure. So I, I don't know if this is like academic or first team, but yeah. Definitely I'm just doing it's everything. Yeah. So in for lacrosse, it's still lacrosse, right? Yeah, seventy-two, ninety, eighty-three, or forty-five. Thinking eighty. I'm thinking definitely not forty-five. Definitely not I think it's first team and not honorable mention. So I want to go. I mean, I'm, I'm thinking. I'm thinking what what coach would put on the brochure. Dude, you want to type it up? It's it's like our whole hallway is just plaques of guys who got. Yeah. It. It's just everything. Like I want to say seven, honorable mention. The seventy-three one. The seventy-two. Seventy-two. Yeah. yeah seventy-two or eighty-three. 
God. <laughs> I'm going to go 72. I'm going to go 83. I'll go 72, lock it in. We'll split the five from Jay. <laughs> lock it in. Yeah, it's 83. Dang. Oh, let's go. I don't know where I got that 127 from. <laughs> I don't know where I got that from. Like Rain Man. Just go oh, on, carry the two. Yeah, just, oh, just, mm, yep. <laughs> All right, let's wrap things up with – we've asked everyone so far their favorite, like, head coach moment. So, what's your guys' – it can be from this year, from previous years, whatever. Um, favorite can of bean moment. Favorite Funny. Oh, man. There's so many, dude. Whatever. Like, oh. Uh, something – I want to say is my favorite moment. It's something that's relevant now. He just put out a video with his family, I think, last oh, week. Oh, yeah. It was last like week, the, yeah day in the life of a can of NA and there's like his whole family and he's like kind of like the coach of the family uh-huh. and it was so accurate of like towards our practice and how he was yeah. like talking to his daughter and son <laughs> it was just super funny just to see him like kind of like outside the coaching setting but still being in like his coaching manner uh-huh. um, I think a really good one Oh man, he and this Tom Brown. I don't know if, I don't know if you two know Tom Brown. He was very. Oh, they would go at it. Opposites. It's like, player, yeah. very former coach. As a player, it was when he was a player still. So. Tom Brown, former. Player. Yeah, he. Yeah, he was very like relaxed and like let's just like take our time with things. And obviously, everyone knows Coach Canopy, and he's like, let's run and go, and let's get it going. Yeah. And they would butt heads. Steve Jobs yeah. mentality of work smarter, not harder. And so yeah. they, would, and they would butt heads a lot. Um, yeah. But we, I think it was when we upset Stevens Tech two years ago, so my sophomore year. Um, Tom would always come in during after a win and just dance. Like we'd all be in a, kind of like a circle or just kind of like yeah. jumping around or something. And then he would have his one dance where he would, like, he was just like rubbing like, around. There's yeah, he would just bend at his waist. He would, like, bend at his waist and, like, go like this. Yeah. And so, <laughs> so funny. But Coach knew about it. So, I think it was a, it was a huge win. Everyone was obviously hyped up. And yeah. um, Tom did his thing. Like, we're all still going nuts. And Coach comes in because it was coming, like, five minutes after we're already in the and He hit the same move. Uh, yeah, I hit yeah, the he did the same move. move. He, like, got in the move <laughs> balls, and he just, like, yeah. put his hand up and just, like, just kind of, like, dropped it. And it was just funny. Yeah, it was pretty funny. But yeah, it's I would say, yeah, I would say that moment or um, my freshman year, we beat Cabrini. I think like sixteen ten or something like that. But to like seal the game, um, Kevin McCarthy scored a goal, and he went to like do like an ice grab thing where like you just like slide your hand on the thing, and then like coach was just so hyped that he like went to hug Kevin, but like Kevin was like sliding down, so it looked like he like knocked him out because he went to like hug him and he just like like hit him but like it was I mean I understand the emotion it was a crazy goal and everything but I really liked that moment because it really looked uh, like he like he hit him there was that twitter video a while ago of like some high school kid scoring a touchdown and then like some big coach goes to like Mm -hmm. jump him in his body I saw that I think yeah Yeah. there is also a picture of coach getting a body by Miles Jones in the MLL (laughs) But um, I wouldn't say that's a favorite moment of his. Miles <laughs> Jones is, well, uh, like, that's all we something. have. Unless you guys got any shout-outs or stories you want to say before we hop off the air here. Where people can follow you on Twitter. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, yeah, it's uh, Watt Milson 10. Just switch the first and last. Matt Wilson, Watt Milson. Got it. Uh, <laughs> so quirky of you. Yeah, I know. It's real um, original. You, you could just find me. It's either like Pat's on Twitter and just P E T T S or uh, Justin Pat with two T's on Instagram. I think it'll, be, it'll come up. So I don't know off the top of my head, honestly. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thanks for your time. Stay, um, stay safe. Thank you for having us. Thanks for yeah. having us.